Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report, where we've got a bunch of quick hitters from the research world, including CMO-CIO rivalries, social media versus word of mouth in the TV realm, Facebook making its content available to researchers, and another researcher who is taking the plunge in the political arena. RBDR is sponsored today and this week by Dappercy, which helps clients automate the deployment of infographics-based dashboards that clearly communicate complex data. Forrester Research Vice President and Group Director Carl Dotti told the Adobe Summit in Salt Lake City this week not to take suggested corporate roles like Chief Data Officer or Chief Digital Officer too seriously. He believes these proposed upper management roles are nothing more than a short-term fix, and worse, their actual purpose is to mask tensions that are ongoing between the heads of marketing and the heads of technology inside corporations. So instead of continuing along this road of distraction, Dottie recommended that the CMO and the CIO jointly rally their efforts and refocus on customers and putting them at the center of their business. Next, with all the talk about the second screen in conjunction with TV viewing, you might be convinced that social media is a world beater when it comes to influencing television. Well, if you do, there's a reality check out today. It's a study from the Simon Business School at the University of Rochester, and it states that all types of communication do impact TV viewing. But surprise, social media especially TV's supposed top partner Twitter, simply doesn't rule. Even in the high-tech, always-on, big communications world that we live in today, it seems that real-time, old-fashioned, offline, word-of-mouth, and we also call it water-cooler conversation, is still king in persuading people to switch the TV programs that they watch. Moving on. Following the lead of social media service tracking of Twitter data, Facebook is partnering with DataSift to launch its own version. It's called Topic Data. It will open the lid to marketers to see for themselves what is being said on Facebook about brands, products, events, activities, and other specific subjects of interest. Now, there won't be a charge to access Facebook topic data at the start. It will be anonymized and aggregated data-wise, but there could be a charge in the future. That, according to Wall Street Journal reporter Jack Marshall. And he notes that these data might also find a research purpose not too far down the road, as well as assist in new product development. And finally today, another market researcher is tossing her hat into the political ring. This time, it's Candace Bennett. She is a small business owner in Lorton, Virginia, and previously a director at Penn Chain in Berlin and a longtime MRA member. Bennett is a Democrat, and she hopes to be elected to a Mount Vernon, Virginia district supervisor seat. That's your Research Business Daily Report. We've been sponsored by Dappercy, which helps clients automate the deployment of infographics-based dashboards that clearly communicate complex data. I'm going to advise you to check out Dappercy.com to see for yourself about this absolutely unique service. And better yet, go further and look at Dappercy.com forward slash our dash clients, where you'll see where some of its customers have nothing but laudatory things to say. We hope you have a great research day and that your week is a terrific one business-wise. Please enjoy your weekend. We'll see you on Monday. And by the way, I will be at the ARF Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday in New York. So please say hello when you see me.